What is up, everybody? Uh, welcome back to another episode of Retro Hoop Collectibles. Uh, this is our weekly PSA update on what they've been uh, grading, uh, and how much they've been grading, how much volume they've been getting out, uh, and how they're getting along with uh, you know working through that mountain of uh, of backlog that they have worked themselves into. Um, so uh, if you haven't already uh, watched the first, if this is your first time watching uh, an update video, uh, I'm gonna link in the description uh, the video to the very first. Uh, time we did this update that has a lot more information about like where I pulled the data from and uh, a couple of the assumptions that were made uh, in order to fill some of the gaps that we don't have uh, on data that we don't have uh, and some of the assumptions that were made in order to uh, come up with some of the calculations that I have. Um, so uh, I'll, I'll link that in the bottom. Watch that first and then you can come back and kind of watch the latest one or the latest update uh, and hopefully it'll make a little more sense to you. Um, but before we get into that, also, uh, if you have not already, follow me on Instagram at Retro Hoop Breaks. Uh, we're steadily climbing on our Instagram. I'm going to start doing a lot more stuff there in terms of uh, just posting and contents kind of in between uh, in between channels, uh, in between videos on the channel. Um, so, you know, follow me on there if you have not already. Also, follow Collect 3D Prints. Um, this is kind of uh, one of the bigger uh, products that I use. I mean, you'll see it all over the all over the walls here. But um, this is my brother's company. He does uh, these three D printed uh, cases for um, for your slabs and also for mag cases. So you can follow them at Collect Three D Prints, um, or I now have an affiliate link uh, in the description that you can click if you want to check them out and uh, maybe buy some. Uh, so like I said, what they are is they're just uh, displays. They're, they're for being able to display your slabs or your cards, uh, your, your kind of your higher end cards. Um, he's been working. So he's got uh, CSG, uh, cases now for CSG in both uh, vertical and horizontal uh, configuration. So if you have a, like a horizontal card that you wanna, like for example, this one here, so that's he now has those for uh, he now has that for SGC for CSG for the mag holders and for SGC uh, and he's working on getting HGA BGS and PSA uh, in the horizontal as well so uh, check them out man it's uh, like I said I, I tons of people have been buying them a lot of a lot of love being shown and we appreciate all of it um, but you know it's just it's it's cool stuff whenever you can you know get your cards out of you know get them out of these these shoe boxes this is this is not where your cards are supposed to be your cards are supposed to be up on the wall um displayed and uh, that way you could talk about them and tell people about them and talk about maybe your favorite players or you know your favorite teams or whatever it is that you collect get them up on the wall i mean i got I got all my stuff up there. Uh, I'm gonna probably be working a little bit more in the next couple of weeks to put some more shelves up here, so I can put some more um, more cards up there because I got a ton of other cards that I want to uh, display and, and put out on the wall. But um, if you get a chance, like I said, check the description. Uh, there's a link in there. Uh, it's an affiliate link. It does uh, help the channel out if you buy using that link. So if y'all could use that, I'd appreciate it. Um, but yeah, check them out, collect3dprints.com or just on Instagram at collect3dprints. And um, that's it. So let's kind of get into the numbers for this week, which were very, very like on par with what they've been doing. So 185,000, a little bit of a dip uh, from last week. But here's the kicker. Um, I kind of expected that. And actually what I expected was them to have a bit of an increase to try to possibly make up for um, the people that they're going to pull away to do on-site grading at the National. So I think the National started today. Starts tomorrow. Started today. Today's the 28th. So, um, yeah, I'm recording this video a little late. I usually record them on Tuesdays, but I'm recording it today, the day of. Uh, so the National starts today. They announced that they're going to be doing on-site grading. So... 
I'm actually happy that this week uh, is is kind of been on par with the last, you know, the average. 182. It's actually a little higher than the average, but like 186. So they did about 185,000. So that's good. Um, that means that they, well, I don't want to say that's good, but they, they didn't ramp things up uh, leading up to the national. And if you ask me, that's kind of a good thing because um, if they're ramping up just to cover what they're going to lose in the next week, then you could potentially get into some quality issues there. Uh, where they're not necessarily, they're just grading faster. Um, so I, I'm, I'm kind of glad that I, that they didn't do that. But I'm going to be interested to see how much of an impact um, them moving a group of graders to the national uh, actually has on their output. Um, and also going to be curious to see if there's any volume at the national, at what point does all that get put into the pop reports and how that affects the pop, you know, at, at you know, the, how that affects the numbers from one week to the next. So, um, like I said, I'm, I'm happy that we have still a baseline of about 186,000 a, uh, a week is what they're doing. Um, so the next, I think maybe the next two weeks are going to be very interesting to see uh, what happens. So, um, you know, just stay tuned for the next for the next one because I think the next one's going to be really telling. Next week's data is going to be really telling. So whatever it is that we pull on, uh, what's that? The first on August first. Actually, let's do this. Yeah. So whatever we pull on the first is going to be, um, you know seeing how things happened and as i'm thinking about it i'm wondering to myself okay well if they pull people away to do grading at the national and and they put it in the pop report at the same time i guess volume wise it's not really going to matter but what does suck is that let's say that they grade 15 percent or 10 percent at the national of what they've been doing every week so um, 18,000, let's say they grade 18, 20,000 cards at the national. Well, that's 20,000 cards they could have been grading. That's 20,000 new people that put cards in to have graded that they could have put that volume towards chipping away at their, at their backlog and getting caught up. But, uh, I, I just don't know how that's going to, I don't know how that's going to come out in the numbers, but, um, Hopefully, I mean, I would imagine that they're gonna they're gonna have all their setup there, which would include the slabbing machine and all that stuff, and also include putting things into the pop report. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll, definitely, the numbers next week are gonna um, are, are gonna tell a much bigger story about how uh, the national impacted um, you know their numbers overall. So we might see a dip. We might not. We might see an increase. We might. Um, who knows? They, they might they might be they might have been um, training a, 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 just a set of people that are not part of this hundred and eighty six thousand average, um, a, a separate set of people just to go to the national and knock that out. So if we see an increase, I'm probably going to say that's the case, where they had maybe twenty people, twenty graders that they've been training that have not been really grading as part of the general group of graders, but it's going to be just kind of like a special group that's going to go to the national. And then once they come back, they're going to be in the fold of the grading po of the greater population. Um, that would be kind of cool to see because then what we'll see is a step change in the month or the weekly output, right? So we'll probably see like, you know, maybe they go up to 200,000 cards uh, the week of the national because you still got the 185,000 cards that they're putting out or, or slabs that they're putting out every week, plus an additional 15,000 slabs uh, that they put out at the national. Uh, and then those group, that group of people that put out those 15,000 slabs at the national are once the national is over, they're going to come back to California and be part of um, the, the, the pool of graders that they have there. And then they'll be putting out 200,000 going forward. Um, that'd be kind of cool to see. So just uh, like I said, uh, next week's uh, numbers are going to be pretty pivotal in terms of what they do, what they do. And, and um, I'll, I'll analyze it once, once they, 
once they put them out. But um, again, pretty pretty normal week for PSA. 186, 187,000. Um, we'll see what happens next week. Uh, but, you know, from there, no real big change. Actually, let's do this. Uh, so I didn't... I keep forgetting to upgrade these just simply because... Um, uh, just because the, the, the whole reason the kind of the whole reason i started to do this was to try to get an estimate on when they would catch up um but as we all know um psa has been very vocal about they're not worried about catching up anymore um they're more worried about just getting to a steady state of putting out more cards than they're getting in uh which i think they're, they're there already um, uh, about putting out more cards than they're, than they're getting in. So, uh, PSA card. Let's see what the, um, complete through dates are versus last week's. Admittedly, I forgot to pull up, um, the uh the ones from last week so let's see here so this is last week's so walkthroughs walkthroughs didn't change well actually it did change but complete through dates you know they, they don't have anything here because they're I guess they're saying they're pretty much caught up. July 5th, July 19th, July 25th. I mean, that's kind of how that goes. 1% uh, more of March done. Economy says complete. I, I, I still don't... I still don't get it. I, I still don't get how they say they're, they're done with economy. Or they're saying economy is complete. I wish... I wish I had the ability to go to the national and talk to somebody about this, but I don't know. Maybe you guys can, you know, talk to somebody about what this is all about. But, um, so they're in October. So for value for TCG, they're into October now, which is good with 11% of October complete. Um, they jumped up to 96% of October complete from from 89, 93 to 95. They did nothing for Ultramodern. And yeah, so not much movement, guys, from what I can see. Um, value TCG had a little bit of a bump from the 27th to October 1st. Now they're in October. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see what's what. Um, but nothing really new here. Again, you guys already know my thoughts on this. I really, I really see no point in why they, why they posted this. Like that was really just weird. Um, nothing new here. Nothing new here. Nothing new here. Nothing new. So. Uh, looks to be pretty uh, business as usual from week to week for PSA. So uh, we'll see how they do um, next week. Next week is going to be the real, the real, the real storyteller um, because the national is kind of the it's 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 a uh, it's something different in the week that that I'm I'm expecting to impact their numbers. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, if you like this kind of stuff, uh, I do it every week. Wednesday, 6 p.m., the video drops on the update. Uh, I got a bunch of stuff coming. Uh, we just did um, a product review uh, video that's coming soon. I got a new box of 17, 18 stickers that I got to open up. I will be doing a live stream this Sunday. Uh, I did one, kind of an impromptu one, um, this past Sunday. I really enjoyed that, so I'll probably end up doing another one. Um, I'll post details about it uh, in the community tab, or also post on the Instagram. So follow me on Instagram if you don't already. Um, like, comment, share, subscribe. 
Tell me what you think about uh, what you potentially see happening with their volume uh, this coming week for uh, for the national. You think they're going to dip? Do you think it's going to go up? Um, you know, put in your predictions now, and and, and we'll see uh, we'll see if anybody uh, got it right. So, uh, again, thank you guys so much for everything. I appreciate it. Remember the link for the uh, for the collect 3D print cases is uh, in the description. So follow that link uh, when you go to uh, buy some. Uh, it helps the channel out. And there's also a, a link in the description for cardhedge.com, which we're going to be doing another video here pretty soon about SGC prices. I'm also going to be doing another video here pretty soon about SGC's delivery times because there's something going on there. A uh, bunch of stuff coming up. So if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and uh, stay tuned. Hit the notification bell because I will start doing more live videos going soon. Um, so just keep up with me. We'll see what we'll see what happens and we'll see what, what kind of stuff uh, I get the chance to do. So uh, as always, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Peace.